Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm still playing Elite Dangerous. I'm in the HIP 16378 system, and I'm going to check out a listening post that I noticed as soon as I jumped in. I was on my way to Marope and had to stop off for some fuel. So here's the listening post and its logs. Listening post signal data. Unregistered transmission DGE 163B detected. Signal match detected in Badaba system. Josie, I'm going to be delayed, I'm currently in the HIP 16378 system and I received a distress call in orbit around 3B, out of fuel by the sounds of it. I've got some refueling limpets on board so I'm going to check it out. After all I've had my share of near misses and we always say that if it was one of us out there, we'd hope someone would come to help us. Comms are a bit sketchy at the moment, getting weird glitches, so I'm not sure if you LL get this before reaching Maya. I won't be long hun. Luca out. Signal blocked at source. Ooh, a mystery. Let's go check it out. So over to the system map and I've detected what could only be planet 3B. So there it is. I've marked it on the map so you haven't got to go flying around the system yourself. So if there's anything in orbit, we'll pick it up. If there isn't, then down to the surface. If you haven't already done so, please click the like and subscribe button and also the notification icon. So, the ship I've found and I've done the work for you at 37.0 and minus 147.8 is the Stargazer survey vessel. It's obviously run into a bit of trouble, wasn't in orbit, and has indeed crashed to the surface. Now, there are logs contained and here they are. So a bit of a garbled message. Obviously there's been some sort of distortion or jamming going on. It alludes to the system HIP 17694, where they found something on the ground, particularly on planet B7F. Now a mystery, a who done it, what is it? What's it gonna be? Well, come on, in this sort of area, we know it's gonna be some sort of a Thargoid base. Now around the cache site, to get these logs, you'll find the log modules, a bit like what you found at Jameson's crash site. You scan those and you're gonna get the information in the logs. Don't make the mistake I did. Make sure you got a bit of data storage as well to pick up that added little bit of bonus. No cargo to pick up, however. So, yeah, not to worry. So anyway, we've got our destination, the HIP 17694 system. Let's get back into the old ASP, the Inquisitive Badger Mark II, and get on over there. Now this system isn't going to be too far away, and getting into the system map shows that. So here we are, let's type in our destination. And a little over, I think, 40 light years. So, two jumps for us. No dramas there. And of course, you're going to be close to Marope and all that other good stuff, so you can go exploring for more Thargoid bases. Now, in system, the last log that we found at the Stargazer crash site mentioned planet B7F. Now, B7F, quite easy to find, though I have marked it for you on the star map. Now there's a station involved as well, there's a station that's been put into this system. Um, now these stations, refueling, drop off your cartographic data, all that good stuff, generally going to be no starport there. So the ship you've got is the ship you're flying to the planet with, okay? So this is the planet that we need. Now I haven't got the locations of whatever it is, so it's going to be a case of going down, mark one eyeball and scanning the surface for any sort of points of interest. So, heading on over to planet B7F is quite a ways away. 
60,000 light seconds. So you're going to be in for the duration. Not quite the old Hutton Orbital run for the mug. Um, but no, it's quite a distance already. So be prepared. You're going to be in for the long haul. But once you're on the surface and you have a good cursory look around, you can notice the Thargoid base or Thargoid ship, depending on which side of the fence you want to come down on. Is it a base? Is it a ship? We still don't know. And we don't know what Frontier Development have got in store for us in regards to this. Is this the Thargoid hive ship that the Commander Jameson logs has alluded to? Now, all those videos are in the INRA playlist on my YouTube channel. Take a look if you haven't already done so. So, here we go. I've used the filter on this Thargoid base to accentuate the detail for you, because it is quite dark, and generally is quite dark around these Thargoid ships or bases. Um, so, we're going to head on over and land and see what's going on. Now, I haven't got any artifacts or probes with me, and my corrosive cargo rack I dropped off, because I was doing other stuff and picking up... Um, cargo from down ships. I've been doing some exploration of down ships. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to go into this, this structure. But a structure pretty much like any other. Although what I did notice, apart from the skimmers and the skimmer activity and the little pods on the ground, which you generally get through all the other Thargoid structures like this, and you can just make it out now on the top right hand side, that glowing point on one of the tendrils pointing upwards. So, hmm, so is it going to be a Thargoid data node? Is it going to be a Thargoid data point? You just don't know. So I thought, well, let's check on over. As far as I understand it, there are no other ones on any of the Thargoid ships, though I could have missed it. If there are, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I go back and revisit some of the bases because obviously I've missed out on something. But on this particular Thargoid base, I've noticed this. I haven't noticed it on any others. So... Let's fly on over and get a bit of a closer look. So I've taken the ASP over, got the lights on. Yes, some sort of data, data node, data, data module, or whatever you want to call it. So time to get in the SRV, and I'm pretty much got up on top of the structure, and it's a Thargoid uplink device. Now, I've seen these sort of things inside the structure, but like I say, I've never seen them outside. So let's scan it. New data discovered, so proves I haven't done this before. Thargoid material composition data. So, let's have a look at the message, what it's given us. And it mentions some sort of ceramics. Of course, you're going to get the distortion because your technology is next to Thargoid technology and, and what have you. Unidentified ceramics. Ooh, the plot thickens. So, I wasn't able to find anything else of any remarkability at this this site other than that and I could say they might be on other sites I just haven't noticed it the skimmers the meta alloys all the same same sort of stuff and I was unable to go in like I mentioned but this is what I like about Elite Dangerous going to a listening post listening to a message or reading a message that then takes you to a crash site that gives you more logs, and that then takes you to another discovery such as this. Now, we've all seen the Thargoid, you know, and, and there should be no dramas to people. But try, for me, finding this new little bit, it will be have added something to the game. Anyway, I've been Ricardo, and if you haven't already done so, click the like and subscribe button, and also the notification icon, and that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos like this on YouTube. Um, be careful coming in. Around the Thargoid bases, lots of players, could go and take you out. But look out for more videos in the series. Fly safe and check back soon.